Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. At this time, we ask if you could please take a few moments to silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 644. O God, our help in ages past, number 644. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Morning. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon, for mercy, and strength. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of John. From the elder to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, I was overjoyed to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we have been commanded by the Father. But now, dear lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning, let us love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard it from the beginning. You must walk in it. Many deceivers have gone out into the world. Those who do not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Be on your guard. 
so that you do not lose what we have worked for, but may receive a full reward. Everyone who does not abide in the teaching of Christ, but goes beyond it, does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm 119, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, just as it was in the days of Noah, so too it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed all of them. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day that Lot left Sodom, it rained fire and sulfur from heaven and destroyed all of them. It will be like that on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, anyone on the hushed housetop who has belongings in the house must not come down to take them away. And likewise, anyone in the field must not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Those who try to make their life secure will lose it, but those who lose their life will keep it. I tell you, on that night there will be two in one bed, 
one will be taken, the other left. There will be two women grinding meal together, one will be taken, and the other left. Then they asked him, where, Lord? And Jesus said to them, where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. We've often seen people engaging in the ordinary human activities of eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building, marrying, and then suddenly some disaster strikes with devastating consequences. We've all seen that. Life can indeed be fragile, as many of us know from our own personal experiences. The Gospel reading this morning warns against being so absorbed, absorbed in the ordinary things of life that we neglect what is of ultimate importance. When disaster strikes in whatever form for us, what keeps us going can only be our faith in the Lord Jesus. We know that when all else changes, when everything else collapses around us, the Lord Jesus endures. We know that a prayerful approach to life will help us cope with the fragility of life and whatever comes our way. Prayer opens us up to the comforting and strengthening presence of the Lord Jesus, who never leaves us no matter what happens. Christ who journeys with us always can be our strength when everything, including ourselves, seems very fragile. As we enter the end of our liturgical year, our scripture readings turn more eschatological. The word eschatological means the themes are speaking to us about the end of times, even the end of our lives, personally, as we prepare for the season of Advent in a couple of weeks. We know that Jesus will be revealed fully to us at the end of time and at the end of our own personal lives. Jesus is also revealed in the here and now. He calls out to us, and we seek him, and he seeks us through the ordinary activities in which we are always engaged. For the word became flesh and dwelt among us. All of life, then, is an invitation to contemplate Jesus, who is at the heart of all life. Today's first reading from the second letter of John, we are reminded that our baptismal calling is to live a life of love, to love one another. When we love one another with the love of Jesus, we give his strength to one another at those times when we are frail and fragile. To love in this sense is to give of ourselves in the service of the Lord Jesus and his people, the church. If we live a life of love each day of our lives, then we will be found ready and waiting whenever the Son of Man comes to us. At the end of our lives and at the end of time, it is the quality of the love that will matter most in the eyes of the Lord Jesus. Have we shown to others something of the love that God has shown to us by the sending of God's Son, Jesus? Something of the love that Jesus has displayed in his life, his death and resurrection. Our prayers of intercession today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our Archbishop, and for all those who shepherd our church in the various parishes and in the various dioceses of our world, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in our world, especially in the Middle East, in Sudan, Haiti, and certainly Ukraine, and all those areas of conflict, we pray to the Lord. For healing for all the sick recommended to our prayers, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, all those during our month of holy souls, we pray for all of our loved ones who have gone before us. Today we pray for Michael McGraw, Samuel Goss, Edwina Hutton, Pat Hayward, Loretta and Michael Mackey, and Michael Mackey Jr. For these and all those who have died in the peace of the Lord Jesus, we pray to the Lord. We pray for your own intentions today in the quiet of your hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts. We make them in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
praying, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray, O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again and therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Bishop, the clergy and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence.
reverence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ now with one another. Here we go. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 602, Eat This Bread, 602. this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have filled with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 586. O Day of God, number 586. <laughs> timeless judgment now to match our present hour. Bring to our troubled minds, uncertain and afraid, the quiet of a steadfast faith and calm of call obeyed. Bring justice to our land that all may dwell secure and firmly build 